Hi, here is your 45 minute yoga HIIT workout. In this workout, we'll be working for 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You have three moves, you'll repeat them twice. So where you have unilateral movement, we'll do one side first, then the other side, then we'll move on. The 15 seconds will be more of a transition period. So if you need to take a break, just pause the, pause the video, have a little rest in child's pose, and come back in. So a nice little yoga inspired HIIT workout. Each, each round will have a, a lo, a lo, an upper body move, a lower body move, and a core move. Um, and we'll just be cycling through them as we go. So grab your mat, grab some water, and let's go. Let's start by warming up. So we're going to stand, feet about shoulder distance apart. Inhale, just stretch the arms all the way up. Exhale. Swim the arms down, inhaling up, exhale down. Give me one more there. Nice big inhale, big full body stretch. Exhale down. This time around, we're going to bring the arms up. Take the right arm down, or mirror me, and you can come up and over. So nice side body stretch. And then we're going to swing all the way over to the other side. Up and over, up and over. Okay, so we can do that again, but this time I'm going to add in some lovely movement to wake up the backs of the legs. I'm going to go to the side so you can see. So we're going to inhale, reach the arm wide, exhale, just come to a nice good morning hinge and back up. So hinging forward and back. Really pushing back with your hips, keeping the keeping the core nice and tight. Wake up the backs of the legs, back and forward. Do whatever you want with your arms that feels nice. You can swing them forward. We can come big arm circles. So let's go big arm circles back and forwards. And do one more from the top, forwards, back, and then just come all the way down to the ground. Plant the palms, so bend the knees as much as you need to to get the hands on the ground. Nice to think palms down. I'm gonna step the right foot, back, left foot back and just a nice, easy twist. Right hand goes up to the sky, switching sides. So the same hand that little ha you have the leg out is the one where the arm's going up. Couple more. Step, because this is a nice yoga flow, it's low impact, we can afford to take the first, we'll take the first circuit nice and slowly just to wake up the body and warm up. <sighs> Open, back, coming down, do one more. Open and swim the arms back, coming down. So step out to a nice high plank position, always throughout the whole workout, you can be on your knees as a modification, okay? Pause nice and tight, we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna hold the plank just to warm up the core a bit think of pushing the floor away lots of space between your fingers hands up underneath shoulders breathing here and then hips high into a downward dog so you're gonna bend the knees one knee and then the other again don't worry so much about how straight you can keep your legs think about keeping the hips high so you can be here with the knees bent, as long as you keep the hips high, pushing through the shoulders, and we're pedaling the feet. So one heel down, one knee bent, other, other down, other bent. So just flowing through like that, a couple of movements, and then walk the hands up to the feet. I've fixed my mat, classic. Just come back up to standing. We're just gonna give, wake up the legs a little bit more. So heels in, toes out, touching to the floor. Reaching up to the sky. Couple here. Down. Up. One more. Down. Just hold low. You can put elbows inside of hands and just rock from side to side. Wake up the ankles, wake up the hips. Breathing. Lots of breathing. My window's closed, I'm going to have to open it. Have a sip of water. <laughs> Very prepared, can you tell? My voice is all croaky today. I think that's because I'm probably thirsty. Let's keep, sorry, distracting. Let's keep going. Hands to the floor. Come up and just slowly 
roll up to standing, roll the shoulders back, finding that breath, nice inhales and exhales, feet come together and we'll start with our first circuit. I will open the window quickly. Boop. Okay, so our first move will be a high lunge. So I want you to stand with feet hip distance apart. Just breathe here for a second. So firstly, we're gonna find, let the heart rate come down. <sighs> Try to find some inhales and exhales. <sighs> we're gonna start stepping with our right foot back. So feet are on two train tracks. I want to step right back, stay on that tiptoe and come down into a lunge. Here we are, we're in high lunge, arms sweep up. So from here, I want you to bend the back knee so you're tucking the tailbone, staying nice and tall then straighten it nice and long. So you're gonna lean forward, you're gonna take the hands, scrape the shoulder blades together, bring them forward, come back up, palms together, no, see, palms out, scrape again. There we go, we're gonna flow, flow through like that, lean, scrape, all that weight is in that front leg, come up, Scraping here. I know I said lower body, upper body. This is upper body, so think the arms, well, full body really. Arms scraping. And then standing straight, scraping again. Okay, here we go. We're gonna lean forward, palms come to the floor, step back to a high plank. I'm gonna drop the knees into a little child's pose for a second. I'm gonna go, go to our forearm plank. So elbows down, come up into your forearm plank. So from here, we're gonna dip the hips side to side. Dip, <sighs> nice and controlled and slow. This is slow building strength. So think <sighs> core's tight, rolling through. And again, you can do this, same motion from the knees. So we're dipping, <sighs> we're not sinking into our shoulders. <sighs> Breathing, <sighs> dip, <sighs> core's tight. Dip. Keep moving like this, still waking up the body. And drop the knees into a nice child's pose to rest. So rolling through, coming up, we're gonna come up into a nice high plank position. So like in our warm up, lots of space between the fingers, come up into high plank. So from here, I want to sink the shoulders down so your chest goes towards the ground, then pushing up. So it's like a little movement through the shoulders just to get some our shoulders warmed up, but also to work on that back muscle. Down and up, core's tight. Sink down, push up. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Almost there, down, up, one more, down, up. Okay, sinking back into that child's pose to rest. I'm gonna do that again on the other side. So as if the, the left leg's gonna go forward. So come up into your plank, you can step the left hand up, as many steps as you need to, tuck that tailbone under, come up into your high lunge. So arms go high. Okay, we tuck. Oh wait, no, sorry. <laughs> right leg forward, left leg back. <laughs> the other leg up. Here we go. So I'm gonna lean forward, scrape, forward, inhale, exhale. That's it. Rolling through, coming up, scraping the shoulder blades down the back, lean, <sighs> scrape, up, <sighs> almost there, lean, scrape, and just place the palms onto the ground, step back, and take a small rest in child's pose between moves. So next up we've got that forearm plank with those hip dips, okay, it's coming up, knee, Elbows on the shoulders, get into that forearm plank. We're dipping from side to side. With all of these moves, I really want you to think of 
slow and steady, okay? We're not trying to rush, we're building that slow burn and building strength. So rocking side to side, nice and easy. Dip, dip, almost there. Remember your options, you can drop to your knees if you need to. Keep moving, breathing and knees down. Child pose, rest. So last move in this, in this trio is that high plank with that retraction in the shoulders. Okay, so coming up, plant the palms nice and wide, up into your plank, hold. I want to sink down and push up. Sink down and push up. So keep moving like this. Down and up. Good. Again, you can be on your knees here if you need to be. Down, up. So it's not a push up. We're not bending the elbows. We're just sinking down into the shoulders and pushing up. Okay, final 10. Keep moving, down, up, and woo, rolling back into that child's pose. Okay, next three moves. We're gonna start in a high plank. And you're gonna reach back, opposite hand towards, no, high plank, opposite hand towards opposite ankle. So here we go, then the right hand's gonna move. So high plank, come up, and reach through and then back into your plank. So think up, if you're going into down dog, then try to reach towards the outside of the opposite leg. And don't worry if you're not touching the leg, that's absolutely fine. It's just the intention of that twist that we're going for. And when you put your palm back, try to make sure you're putting it right in that nice high plank position. Good. 10 more seconds, up, core's tight, reach, plant the palm, down, one more, up, reach, and drop to those heels, drop to those heels, drop to those knees, okay, so we're going to come up into that down dog, and I want to step the left foot up, and rotate on that back foot, we're going into warrior two, so, coming up, Nice and strong. So my feet placement, my feet are at a T. So my heel is perfectly in line with that arch. Sink down into that front knee. Not so far as your knees going off your ankle, over your ankle, strong arms looking over that front arm. We're here and then we're gonna straighten that leg. Lean back, reach back. And we're gonna flow through like this, forwards back good forwards back give me one more really strong in the arms strong arrow straight arms back come forward turn on that back foot we're going to come down plant the palms so think heat the heel of the palm down step out into a plank drop those knees little rest okay we're going to go on to our forearms here we go forearm plank and then I want to step up into, so make it narrow, bum high into the shoulders, step back into that plank. So we're going up into a dolphin pose, back into that plank. Step up, hips high. So essentially you're going for a long, a long forearm plank where your head is nice and straight, looking forwards to one where you're looking towards your toes and you're pushing through your shoulders. Out, almost there, stepping up, and knees down, resting, good. Okay, we're gonna start, so you can rest here in child's pose, breathing, we've got that high plank with that downward dog reach to the other side. Okay, so plant the palms, here we go, set yourself up, high plank, Hips high, we sink down, we reach. Coming up, good, high plank, hold. Up and over, reach through, 
coming back, back into that high plank, slow and steady. And here, if you modify, you can come onto your knees, then pop up into that high plank, reach any amount. If the reach isn't working for you today, just give me high plank to down dog, okay? Just listen to your body and go at your own pace for these little rounds of ours, okay? One more, up, reach to that high plank, right. Going to our warrior. So coming up, you can step up the right foot. I'm going to come, I'm gonna twist so I'm facing you. So we've got the right leg in front this time. Bicepting, nice T, arms straight, sink into your warrior. We're here. Then we come up and we lean back. That's it. So warrior to reverse triangle. Up. Strong arrow arms. Your arms are parallel with the ground. And think there's two bolts of lightning shooting out through your arms as you flow back and forwards through don't fall forwards try not to i just wobbled forwards one more down up okay so i'm going to twist we're going to make our way back down to the mat so plant the palms step out and rest a couple seconds in child's pose here and we're coming onto our forearms. So we've got that forearm plank. Here we go, forearm plank, hold it, step up, push into your shoulders, core's tight. Step back, jutting through the heels, nice and strong. Up, pike, hold, down. That's it, just flow through like this. The second round, because you know what the moves are, try to concentrate on something new. So this time maybe you're concentrating on Keeping your core tight. Maybe you're concentrating on trying to keep your breath nice and steady. But the aim here is just to keep moving. So if you need to pause in that plank before piking, pause or dolphining, should I say? <laughs> Up, almost there. One more. Woo, drop the knees. Rest. Right, we're going into a chaturanga push up. So we're going to have hands in a push-up position, but we're gonna do elbows nice and close. Then we're going straight back and up. So here, I'm gonna demo from my, from, my, from my knees. So you're gonna go elbows close and coming up. So we go down and up. So we're imagining our elbows, well, we're not imagining, we want our elbows to stay as close to the body as possible. And that core nice and tight. So I'm gonna stay on my knees because I want my form to be right on this one. The focus here are those triceps, those pesky triceps. Down, up. So sink up our breath. So we inhale down. We exhale up. Nice long necks. We don't want to crunch them. Looking sort of off our nose. One more. Into that child's pose. Ooh. All right, come up into a down dog. Step the feet up, nice and wide, and slowly come up to standing. So, we do goddess pose, so heels in, toes out. We're gonna slide down, nice and straight with the chest. Arms are gonna be out. We're going to twist towards the right. And then come up. So palms overhead, we go down. We twist from our waist. So, your twist, your range of motion is your range of motion, okay? Don't worry if you're not twisting very much. We want to keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. Neck nice and relaxed. Just a little twist. Try to stay as low as you can in that pose. Ooh. Twist. Come back up. Arms overhead. Down. One more. Twist. Come back up. Reset. Okay. Ooh. Feel it in the arms as well. Okay. So we're going to slowly make our way down to the floor. And we're gonna do boat pose. So you're gonna sit on the backs, on your, your sort of low. <laughs> you're gonna sit right on the base of your spine. You can hold legs here, hold behind the legs. We're in boat, our chest is high. 
Then, if this is okay for you, stay here. Or you can release the hands. If you want more, we're gonna go down, chest high, and come back up. There we go. So we're gonna go down, legs together, come up. So in boat to low boat. My palms are going up to the sky, like I'm whoa, offering something to the ceiling, or in my mind, it's a beautiful sky with lots of fun clouds. Down, up. We inhale down, we exhale up. And put the feet down, shake it out. We go around. We're gonna come back onto our fronts for that chaturanga push up. So it's tricep focus, I think nice and close to the body. Here we go. Let's sync up with our breath. So inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Just focus on how deep you're going today, okay? Don't worry about me. I'm dropping to my knees because I want good form. I want to make sure I'm really getting nice and deep in this push up, focusing on those triceps. Down, up, almost there. Nice and close. Just focus on your breath. Take it one breath at a time. One breath at a time. Down, up, and sink back into that child's pose. Releasing the hands, get the pressure off the hands. Little circle with the hands, put the palms up. Come into that down dog, and just come up to standing nice and gently into our goddess pose. So here we go. We go down. Twisting the other direction this time. Twist. And up. When we twist, our lower body stays exactly where it is. Twist. Inhale up. No. <laughs> Exhale down. I think. Inhale. Down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to centre. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale to twist. Inhale centre. Exhale back up. Woo. And to the floor. Final round of those cheeky little boat situation. So, we're going to, facing this way this time, I don't really face this way, but we're gonna take shoulders back, set up. So you can be here holding. I'm gonna inhale down. If you want more, exhale up. If you want more from here, release, bring back. Find your level. No problem. Wherever you are today, just focus on that breath and keeping moving and try to keep nice and steady and stable. That's the plan. I am focusing very much on that lovely cowboy book there <laughs> to try and keep my stability. The slower and stable you are, the more your core is really working and building to maintain that strength. And ooh, hug the knees into the chest on your back. Just give a little roll out to release. Amazing. Okay. Right, we're going to our dolphin pose again. So forearm plank, we're gonna come up into dolphin and I want you to lift the leg up, right leg up, right leg down, that's our move. Stay on the same leg, up, slowly bring it down, up, squeeze the glute at the top, so squeeze that bum cheek, up, down. Try to let the left ankle be nice and heavy. Not sinking into our shoulders, nice and strong. Down, tapping up. Core's tight, slowly bring it down. Almost there. Down, good. One more. Up, down, knees down. Child's pose, rest. Okay, so we're gonna slowly come up from child's pose come up to the down dog and come up to standing. I'm gonna stand on the left leg and we're gonna balance on the right. So, transfer all that weight into the left knee. We're going to balance. So if this is good enough for you, hold, just hold this balance. 
but we're going to try to hinge forward, kicking that foot back to a warrior three. So we're nicely balanced and then we're going to come up slowly, try not to let the foot touch the floor, back into that knee. Here we go, we pinch. Try to maintain that stability, nice and slowly, slow and steady, and up. Don't worry about how, how um, parallel you're getting to the floor. The aim here is just to keep that stability. Finishing off wherever you are. Up, foot goes to the ground. Feel it in that leg, right? Slowly come back down to seated. So onto your back, we're gonna do some leg lowers. So legs up in the air, just uh, drop the right leg only down and up. Okay, your level's here. You can have your knees bent, tap, up. Knees bent, leg lower, up, or knees straight, down, up. If you feel it in the lower back, I want you to not bring the leg down as low. If you want some more, bring those head and shoulders off the mat, bring those arms that we were doing in boat, inhaling down, exhaling up. Inhaling down, we'll flex the feet with this one. So flex, opposite to pointed. Down, one more. Up, hug the knees in. And we're gonna start that from the top. Okay, so rolling over. I did not roll over very gracefully, I apologize. So I'm starting with that dolphin leg raise on the other side. So let's get the feet nice and close to the body. Other leg up. Slowly bring it down, tap. Pushing away from the ground with your shoulders. So your head is off the floor, off the mat. Down. That's it. Reaching that foot high. Right heel is going towards the ground. Keep moving. Up. Exhaling up. Inhale down. Keep moving like that. Couple more. Not sinking in those shoulders. Give me one more. Reach. Down. Knees down. Little baby child's pose. And we're going up for that knee balance on the other side. Okay. So coming up to standing. Fixing my mat once again. We're going to stand on the right leg. Let's start firstly. Setting ourselves up. Transfer all the weight. Come up to balancing. Foot is flexed, arms overhead. If you're okay here, stay here. But otherwise, we're leaning back. Drive that foot back. Balance. Core's tight, bring it through to standing. This is my tricky leg. We all have one. We say tricky, but just less, less stable. Let's call it less stable. It's not tricky, it still helps us walk around all day. Also, I don't want it to hear me and then all of a sudden, it's like, <laughs> you want to balance? Okay, <laughs> keep going. Whoa, whoa, I think it heard me. Find your focus. Come up, <sighs> down to the ground. So slowly come down, plant the palms behind. We'll come into those leg lowers on the other side. I'm gonna flip round. It feels weird being facing that way. Usually face this way. Okay, on our backs, feet up. We'll have feet flexed. And <laughs> I've forgotten which leg I did. Left leg, left leg, down, up. And you can come up into both that nice shoulders off the mat, palms facing the sky, down, up. And then chin's nice and relaxed. It's so tempting to crunch the neck. As soon as I crunch, it feels, I can barely talk to you guys, or tongue tied. So I chin up, down, up. Good, inhale down. Remember your options, okay? Protect your back, listen to your body. If you're like, this is too much, give me, <laughs> bend the leg, don't go as low. But we're done, so amazing. Hug the knees into the chest, roll up, and we're gonna move on. Okay, <clears throat> standing up. <sighs> we're going to back into that high lunge. So. Both feet, we did high lunge up to begin with. So step the right foot back, bend the back knee so you're nice and strong. 
and we're gonna tap down with the knee and come up. So you're just gonna bend the back knee and straighten it. That's it. And if you're here, if you like the tapping to the floor is too much, no problem. Just make it a little bend and stretch. You're still feeling the burn. Down, up, shoulder blades down, up, good. Down, up. Try to keep the front leg holding a lot of that weight. Nice and soft on the back leg. One more down, up. Straighten the leg, we'll plant the palms, we'll come to the mat. No, we won't. We're gonna stay standing. So we're gonna to come to me. Sorry, where am I today? So we're gonna heels in, toes out. We're not gonna do goddess, we're gonna do yogi squat. So squatting down like we did in the warm up. We're gonna come up to knee balance. Plant the foot where it should be. Check your alignment. Down, staying on that same leg. Up, we balance. Down. Exhaling all the way up. Down. <laughs> I forgot what my arms are doing. Up. That's it. Down. Up. Just keep moving like that. Nice and low in that squat. Maybe one more. Down. Chest is up. Reach and relax. Okay, <clears throat> one more. Come down to that mat. We'll do some bicycles. So, leaning back, we're gonna lengthen one leg out. No, sorry. We're gonna go to the mat. We're gonna lean prayer hands. And we're gonna switch. 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 So again, slow and controlled. If having the head up is too much, I want you to reach, come down. Reach, come down. If having the neck up is too much the whole time. Here we go, I forgot what I was saying. That's it, there we go. We're turning towards the bent leg, extending the other leg. See if we can pick up that pace a bit more and hug the knees into the chest, rest there. Okay, those are our three moves. Let's start in that high lunge, toe tap. Sorry, my transitions are very sloppy today. Promise to do better, I promise to do better. So left leg, right leg back, left leg forward, bend that back knee, I think. <laughs> no, right leg back, right leg forward, left leg back. Up we go. And by the way, you know that I always get these things wrong with the left and the right. So you know what you're doing more than what I know, more than I know what I'm doing. So really tucking the tailbone under, want to keep that back nice and straight. Bend the back knee, straighten it. Bend, straighten, good. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Keep the arms nice and strong. Lots of space between the ears. So shoulder blades down the back, one more. Tap, straighten, woo! You can plant the palms and come up to standing. Roll up. That yogi squat with that leg raise, other side. Heels in, toes out, find that nice breath. Here we go, down to tap, up to balance. <laughs> oh, I told you my right leg was, I told you my right leg was the, the best leg ever. <laughs> That's it. Down, up. See, so concentrating and connecting with that breath helps. See, as soon as I'm like, right, let me stop all this joshing about and concentrate on that balance and that core connection. Using your exhale. Whoop. Don't matter if you fall, recover and continue. We all fall down, right? And rest. Woo, okay, bicycle. So, slowly bend the knees. It's nice and easy. Using your hands to help come down to your position on the mat. One leg out, right leg out. We lean to the left. Switch, switch, switch. 
my hands are in prayer hands and we're thinking of trying keeping that neck nice and long while we switch and again your switch could be up here right it doesn't have to come super low listen to your body listen to your back really important I want you to listen and under, and it helps it helps us understand our bodies a bit better as well so core's tight twisting 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 good almost there pointing the toes this time one more and hug the knees into the chest rest breathe right one more round okay so we're on the mat this time so we're gonna go palms are facing forwards we're going to lift the hips up pick the leg up right leg or left leg up and then down it feels really weird coming doing it this direction but I'm gonna switch next time up hold high point down let the bum come back down so we thrust our hips up. You may feel, if it's nice for your neck, you can have it holding, hanging back. Point the toe, bring it back, down. Here we go. Up, hold, point, down. The important thing here is not to crunch your neck down. Keep it nice and long, relax. Point, and down. I'm gonna swivel around now. <laughs> oh, it's topsy-turvy day today. So we're going to slowly use our hands to lower ourselves down. We're going to do some bridges. Okay. I'm also going to move the time because I cannot see it nor can I hear it. So feet under hips. We're going to inhale. As the exhale, we're going to push the hips up and the arms are going to come up overhead. And exhale. Down. So inhale up. <laughs> inhale there. Sorry. Exhale. Inhale down. There we go, we're sinking our breath now. We exhale up. Drive through the heels, keep them high whilst the arms go overhead and come down. Keep moving like that. Push through the hips, keep the hips high. Down, make sure your feet are hip distance apart and they're more under your knees than away from your knees. Oh, rest, rest. We're focusing on our glutes here. So that's the important thing is to think feet closer to your bum is going to get the glutes more. Okay, just where we are, we're going to come up, hands are going to be behind, we're going to give ourselves a little reverse plank. So, you can be here with one leg supporting you, holding, right? You can even do two legs holding, more like that reverse table we did, or I'm going to straighten the legs out, keep the hips high, I'm going to hold. <sighs> Breathing, <sighs> hips nice and high. Calls nice and tight, chin's going up to the sky. This is our last circuit, guys, so push yourself. Let's go, we can do it, we can do it. Just focus on inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. You can even plant the feet on the floor. Five more seconds here, you can do it. Inhales, exhales. And roll through, coming down. Good, come off the wrists, give them a little little rotation we're going to start that with that reverse table and we're going to go in very soon so palms facing forwards if it's more comfortable for you to play place the fingers out do listen to your wrists very important lots of space sorry talking too much up we go up left leg down down here we go so we thrust up keep the hips high transfer all the way into that other leg Stay nice and strong. Try not to rock at all. Try to keep your body as still as you can. Chin is relaxed. Down, good. Thrust, point, down. Control, thrust. So it's a little bit of a tricep dip as well when we go down. The soft bend in the elbow. But we rest. So. Hands behind the thighs, slowly lower down nice and safely and gently. We're doing that hip, that hip bridge. Okay, so inhale there. Exhale up. Driving through the heels, push, 
Inhale down. There we go. Last couple moves. Exhale up. Push through them heels. Make sure these feet are in alignment. They tend to move around a bit. So just have a little look, have a little check. Up, squeeze. Down. Find some resistance with those arms. Really keep them fired up. I've got my palms nice and wide. So I'm holding a massive ball of energy <laughs> to get a bit, bit more yogi today. Down. And here we go. Let's go up. Whoosh. Up. Last one. Down nice and slowly and hug the knees into the chest. A little bit of a counter stretch before our reverse plank. So coming up, find your level from before. We're going straight in and up and hold. Holding. Nice and strong. Breathing. Looking up to the ceiling. Not so far up that your head's falling back. So nice straight line. Push through the arms and breathe. Focus. Remember, you can use your other foot to help if you need it. You can use both feet if you need it. But try to keep those hips nice and high. Pushing through the glutes as well is going to help. Let's breathe. Final bit of our workout. Holding. Three seconds, stay in it. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Slowly lower down. Oh, amazing work. I'm gonna pause that little turmer, push it away, and just take the hands behind the back. Slowly roll down to your backs. Hug the knees into the chest. Oh, and breathe. It's amazing what the slow and controlled movement can do, isn't it? I'm sweating buckets, by the way. I don't know if you can tell, you can probably see the glisten. Good, we're gonna keep the right knee in, left leg out. So I'm gonna scooch up a bit. So again here, your left leg go to the mat. If that feels uncomfortable, just pop your left foot on the mat and get a little bend in the knee. So that might feel a bit better if you're a bit tighter in the, if you're a bit tighter in the hips. Good, just hugging that knee in, should feel nice. You lift the, shoulder, the head and shoulders off. I'm gonna take that right hand, it's just gonna wrap around the knee and then open it out to the side. So opening up that hip a bit more and breathe. Try to keep that left hip anchored and heavy on the ground. And if it's coming up, just bring the knee up a little bit more. Breathing there, you can find little circles. You're gonna go straighten that right leg up to the sky, hold anywhere behind the leg. Think shoulders down and relax. Next, relax. Every exhale, try to Pull that leg closer towards your head. So nice hamstring stretch. Good. You can, I always twiddle my foot at this point. It feels nice. Twiddle it, rotate it. There we go. <laughs> I was like, what's the real word? Rotate the ankle one way, rotate the ankle the other way. It feels nice. And then just lift the head and shoulders off the mat. I'm just gonna pull that leg up. One final bit of that stretch. Release. I'm just going to take, bend the knee and just take it across the body. So we're going to twist, let the head hang heavy. My back just clicked. Amazing. And just look over to the right hand. My right hand is going straight out. So you should get a nice stretch in the shoulder. And again, relax. Stretching it out. Good. Come back to your centre. I'm just going to pick up the left leg. Take the right ankle over the left ankle, left knee, pick up the left, left foot, right hand goes through the hole behind the left leg, left hand comes right around the outside, interlace the fingers and just come down. Here we are, we're gonna stretch out the right hip and glute of that right leg. So pulling the leg in, relaxing the shoulders. Imagine you're pushing a wall away with that left foot. So if both feet are flexed, and just think of pushing that right knee out so you should feel that intensify a bit more. Relax. Good. And release. Keeping the left knee in, right leg will go out, we're gonna do the other side. So just starting by hugging that knee in again. If one side's always different, so if this hip 
if you, your, your right leg this time is like not working, just being on the ground, just bend that foot, no problem. And then we're gonna open up that hip to the side and breathe, anchoring down with the right. Good. Should feel really nice. Try to sink even deeper with every breath. It really works. <laughs> Come back to center. We're just gonna extend that leg up to the sky. Again, hold anywhere behind the leg and just keeping the shoulders relaxed. Try to pull that leg towards your body. Again, we can twiddle the foot. One direction, twiddle the foot in the other direction. Every exhale, try to pull that leg a bit closer, hold anywhere, hold on the calf, behind the knee, behind the thigh, wherever feels comfortable. And we're gonna bring the head and chest up and we're just gonna pull nice and close towards the body and release down, bending that knee. We're gonna do that twist on this side. We're gonna take the right hand on the outside of that left leg, left hand out and just twist that leg over and across. <sighs> Trying to relax. This should feel really nice on the back and the spine. Twists are really good for the digestion or if you're feeling bloated, really good move. <laughs> good, and breathing. You can close your eyes here if it feels nice, you know what's coming, so you don't have to look at me. Come back to centre. We're going to left ankle over right knee, left hand through the hole, right hand round, interlace behind the thigh and just sink down again. Think of pushing that imaginary wall away with the right foot. Left foot's also flexed and the knee is going out. Should feel great. And breathe. Good, and releasing that. We're just gonna roll. So you can either come up, to, you can either come up um, just normally you can roll over, we're gonna to go to all fours, or you could rock and roll here. So good, rock. <sighs> Should feel nice on that lower back. My hands are behind my thighs. I'm just gonna come up. I'm gonna spin around because facing that way seems to be freaking me out today. And we're gonna go onto all fours. So we're gonna do some nice cat cows. So inhaling, looking up, let the belly hang, exhale. <sighs> Push the ground away, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Inhaling. <sighs> Couple more. Inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale, look up, exhale, away. I'm just gonna turn, come to a nice flat back. I'm gonna turn the fingertips towards the body. I'm just gonna give me a certain little circle. So we're just gonna stretch out the wrists a bit, a bit more, um, and breathe. Breathing, always breathing. Stretching out the wrists, round and round. Good, and then turn them back around. I'm just gonna come into a nice child's pose. So toes together, knees nice and wide, we're coming down. So we're gonna bring the hands and interlace them behind the back and bring them up and over the head just to stretch out those shoulders and breathe. Again, don't worry about how high your arms are going. I promise you, if they're not going very high, if you keep trying and practicing this move, either standing or down here on the mat, um, they will release. Release the hands, talking about releasing. I'm gonna come up, tuck the toes, come up to chapter down dog, pedal the legs, and then find some stillness here, just stretching out. I'm gonna slowly walk the feet up to the hands, nice and slowly, little steps. I'm gonna stay nice and low, bend the knees, interlace the hands, I mean, sorry, clasp elbows with hands, just rocking from side to side. And then slowly come up to standing, nice and easy. Ooh, I'm just gonna do one more stretch, I'm gonna stretch out the quads. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take the foot up, a little bit of balancing. If you don't wanna balance, hold on to something. No problem, we've done the workout. So aim here is to feel that nice stretch. I think knees together, knee back, and the same hip pushing forwards. Whew, my top's exposing me. Good, rest. Rest, breathe. Breathe and rest, same both. And release that foot, we'll do the other side. So nice and, there we go. Should feel good. And 
and holding there for a few more seconds. We're going to release down. It's going to take one last stretch. We're going to get tricep up and over, pulling back, and also a little side bend. Should feel really nice, soft bend in the knees. Come up, we'll do the other side. Good. And there we are. There was your yoga hip workout. Absolutely smashed it. If you need to stretch more, do. But that was great. Namaste.